I don't have too much time to talk. Ramsey will be back any second. Is it accomplished? Almost. What do you mean by that? I've explained certain facts of life to Mr. Spencer, and I'm sure he now understands. Well, then proceed. But remember, we're running out of time. I can't stall much anymore. Not to worry, sir. The moment of truth is at hand. Very well. The moment of truth? Or death. The choice is still yours, Mr. Spencer. I'm sorry about the delay, but we're working on an attempted homicide across the hall. Well, that's all right, Captain. I had a few calls to make. Oh, yes. What did the prince have to say? Well, he was naturally concerned, but he promised he wouldn't interfere with the investigation. Oh, good. Then let me fill you in on the progress we've made so far. You have started an investigation? Oh, yes, yes. I've got some of my best vice men at the museum and half of homicide detectives out on the street. And I assure you, sir, that we will cooperate fully with you in this operation. Well, now that won't be necessary, Captain. Well, these are top men. Well, I'm not questioning their ability. My uh, reasons go f far more practical. Uh, this is a large city, and if your department is like most, you are severely understaffed. Well, no, we have sufficient manpower. Not enough to take your best men off the job. Now, the WSB has unlimited men and material, and, well, I, I don't want to criticize your department, but... Ours is the best trained police force in the world. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Are you saying that you don't need us? I am saying that the WSB can handle this investigation quicker and more thorough ourselves. I think you will agree that a situation this big does not warrant local interference. Well, what about the men I already have out in the field? Pull them off the case. Sir, are you sure that this I is... I know advice? what I'm doing, Captain. But... It's best. Believe me. Mr. Gray, you're so fond of quotes, perhaps I could, uh, I could, uh, share with you one of Robert, my faves. I believe it was Marco Polo, maybe it was Genghis Khan, but it was definitely one of those Latins. And, uh, what he said was that he who divided, conquereth. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that's one of my favorites, too. Please, oh, well. enough gibberish. It's not gibberish. It's a hint. I don't want hints, I want answers. What? Take Laura out and dispose of her. And after her, Jackie. And then Miss Hill. Until you tell me what I want to know, Mr. Spencer, I'll remove your friends one by one. Get up, Luke. Quit faking. I don't think he's faking. You could well have killed him. Yes? Ramsey is at the hospital, so I can talk freely now. Is everyone in place? Not just yet. Why not? There's been a slight delay. A delay at this time might be dangerous. It couldn't be avoided. However, I have everything under control. Well, if that's the case, why aren't things progressing? Please be patient. I'm keeping the third member of the triad away from the boat until everything is ready. I must impress on you, David, the importance of maintaining our schedule. I'm as anxious about it as you are, sir. We have worked too hard for too long, and we're too close to success to fail now. I assure you, we will not fail. The delay was unavoidable. What caused it? Not what? Who? Luke Spencer. Thank <laughs> you. 
four o'clock. How can it be four o'clock? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four the sword within the hour. I'll keep you informed. I apologize for the blow to your head. It was much harder than necessary. It's all right. It's pretty hard to bust my head. Listen to me, Spencer. By nature, I'm not a violent man. So be reasonable. I prefer to deal in a civilized manner. You know what I want. Why don't you give it to me? I'll go to whatever means necessary to get it. So why don't we discuss this amicably? It's your dime. Keep talking. Spencer, don't play games. I'm deadly serious. I trust you fully understand the significance of my use of the adverb. Give me the sword. That's all you have to do. And you and your people will be liberated and the matter is done with. What if I refuse to talk to you unless you untie these people? The sword has no significance to you whatsoever. No importance. Certainly not enough to risk the lives of your friends. That's what I mean. Why don't you just untie him and we'll talk? Spencer, you're not in a position to refuse me anything. Well, I don't know. It seems like I have all the bargaining chips. Untie them. You want to talk amicably? We'll do that as soon as they're set free. All right. Untie their feet and remove their gags. Leave their hands tied. And tie Spencer. I warn you, don't try to get away, or my men will deal with you harshly. I've agreed on good faith. Good faith. Oh, I really like your idea of good faith. You've got somebody attached to each one of us like a, a plague. And you've got real bullets to back up that good faith, I have no doubt. Correct, Mr. Spencer. My bullets are very real, you can be sure, and I won't hesitate to use them. Hey, Slick, come on, Slick! You'll get yourself killed, man. I'm glad to see you're using good sense. I don't know which is worse, being knocked out or tied up. Knocked out. Tied up. Gagged. All my feet are still numb. You know, David, I don't know why you had to tie up Laura. Have... She's obviously under your hypnotic spell. I have my reasons. Yeah, I bet you do, just because you're... I think Jackie, you like back off. Pain. Back off. Just don't get the lad any more excited than he already is. I'm not excited, merely determined. From here on, it's strictly between you and me. Precisely. It's wise of you to see that. It would be wiser of you if you would tell me where the sword is. I want to know now. 